I think that the, the main data here is showing that in colon cancers and non-colon cancers, we're seeing response rates with Pembro that uh, are quite impressive, that progression and overall survival are quite durable, um, and that it's recapitulated in a different, entirely different study. So I think that that together is what led to the FDA approval. What's impressive about the FDA approval is it's not only across all tumor types, but it's in adult and children. So it's really the first time where we're no longer looking at tumors by the site of origin, but rather by the genetic lesion. So we're racing the boundaries altogether. Um, so I think that's, that's incredibly exciting. It's a, a historic approval by the FDA. Um, and I think it's going to knock down the walls of how we think about cancer in the future.